Researchers in Zurich have created a building material that is alive and can sequester carbon from the atmosphere. What they did is they decided to put photosynthetic cyanobacteria inside of some hydrogel, give it a little structure, and let it form a proper biomass so that it can bind to carbon dioxide, which it needs for its metabolism, and sequester that from the atmosphere. So this weird little pineapple thimble thing here may actually be the future of carbon capture. And many of you would say, okay, well, if we want to capture carbon, why don't we plant trees, right? Well, this little guy, that little thimble, these structures can sequester about 18 kilograms of carbon per year, or about as much as one 20-year-old pine tree in a temperate zone. So instead of waiting 20 years for the trees to grow up, this will happen pretty much instantly, which allows for instant scaling. So the way it works is they put photosynthetic cyanobacteria inside of a hydrogel. Cyanobacteria, because of their biology, actually extract CO2 from the atmosphere naturally. And they put it inside of a 3D printable building material so that it can have a structure, reduce the carbon footprint, and maybe in the future, even do something useful, suggesting that it could be used in architecture. And I love the pictures of this, especially this cute one. They 3D printed a cup graft so that we could have a miniature cup with cyanobacteria in it that is also sequestering carbon from the atmosphere. They've been experimenting with a variety of different structures. This is actually the carbon that it captures from the atmosphere. It's not a lot per thing, but it goes all year. You could imagine if this structure here were constantly sucking in all that naughty carbon dioxide that eventually it would harden and calcify into something like this little Glorbo. So I think this is a really cool technology. It's really neat. It is admittedly in its infancy right now. You can actually see how they're developing this. It takes almost a year for this to grow into its full form and be capturing maximum amounts of carbon and having maximum stability. But it's interesting, you can see the shell on the left and then the progression as it moves across, but it is sequestering carbon and continuing to build throughout that process, which is downright awesome. And these pictures are really tiny, but they also managed to put this in an art museum. They've been using cyanobacteria to graft to various materials and create avant-garde art like you see above. And I think it's just very, very cool. I think it's an interesting piece of technology. And I hope that this is, that's a, that looks like something very inappropriate growing out of my head. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit more. I hope that something like this ends up getting scaled up and used in the future to naturally sequester carbon from the atmosphere because carbon capture via organic processes is going to be by far the best for the environment.